what are your companies doing well on with women and what, what do you need to work on? Um, equal pay, are you setting goals? Are you setting numeric targets? Um, go ahead, Brian. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I tell you, equal pay is something, if companies are not doing it, shame on them. Because I don't think that's an issue that has to be addressed. It should have been addressed. It should be written into the law of, laws of the country. So I think we should park that on the side. Okay, because if you're still talking about equal pay, we have a, we have a problem. Okay, let's park that aside. I think we ought to sit down and talk about the fact that, you know, women today, I mean, we are talking as if the work and whatever we have to do in the job can be divorced from the home. We can't. We just can't. I'm going to tell you a small story, today's incident. I was in the office. I had a very long day that started very early, and I was traveling all week and all of last week, all weekends too. I had a text from one of my daughters, who's pretty old, 22 and 30. One of my daughters texts me, I have a cold, mom, I'm not feeling good. So I rushed home at 3 o'clock. I had my cook assemble all the ingredients to make comfort food for my daughter who lives in Manhattan. I spent an hour putting it all together, then dressed and came here, and I've been texting to say, did you receive it? Did you eat it? Are you feeling better? Mm -hmm. Now, I want to tell you, you think my husband's going to do that? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I'm sorry, Mark, don't give me that look. My no, husband no, ain't going to do it. Uh, I'm going to go on Postmates and just send it on demand, so. <laughs> That's the problem. On my phone. That's the problem. My husband probably call me and say, take care of it, okay? Your kids, you know, our kids got a cold. Or why don't you just call the restaurant and have something delivered? My problem is that oh, I speak for a lot of the women in PepsiCo because we have these women's circles and we talk to the women. We do have another side to us. And when we come to work and we want to move up and we want to help others come up, we have multiple roles we have to play in the company. As a CEO, I have a huge responsibility too. How do I balance the two? We keep talking about whether women can have it all or not. I think the biggest question we have to ask ourselves is, what should companies do to provide an ecosystem for women? For men also, but let's start with the women, because every time we talk about women, we include the men. We dilute the whole subject. Let's start with women and focus on them. What do we need to do for the women so that they can have the other roles that they play be done well? as a mom, as a wife, as a daughter, as a daughter-in-law, as a caregiver, how can they play that role? Because whatever we say, more than 50% of the time, the woman's carrying the burden, okay? How can we provide fantastic childcare facilities at the job? We're exploring that in PepsiCo now. Should we join with two other companies? After school care, childcare facilities. Um, you know, now with digital tools, you can actually see what's going on in the daycare facility all the time. If your child is sick, should you move them to a you know, sick children's room? So you can go there every two hours and actually have a meeting from there with the office. With telepresence, you can do anything these days. What can we do to take the burden off the woman so that they come to PepsiCo saying, if I'm ever going to keep working, I want to work in PepsiCo. Okay? That's how we want to create a company. But I think it's not a PepsiCo issue. It's the greatest societal issue we all have to address as a country, as a society, because there's no point talking about anything else if we don't provide women, don't provide society an ability to nurture and bring up the kids and do a good job. That's my point of view. Brian.